so since we introduced uh, table um, table type yesterday to define internal table like yes. structures in importing and exporting parameters today also we are going to introduce few other data dictionary objects that is structures structures is the one data dictionary object which we are going to use today okay so what is a structure what is a structure first we'll see what is a structure and we'll go create the function module structure is a group of fields structure is a group of fields it it cannot store data okay structure cannot store data structure contains a group of fields okay structure cannot store the data that is about structure structure is just a group of fields the structure contains some fields some relevant fields like for example there is a structure called uh, g address that is the structure name what does this structure contains it is similar to table okay structure is also looks like this is very similar to table like it's it, it's it also contains fields but how it is different from table technically it cannot store any data permanently okay for example if you take address structure what it will contain door number door number is the field street or village street city city what is your is the field right sap standard field for city yes sir what is your own country example postal code there is a standard field for postal code i don't remember exactly i i, I think this is the this is the one okay for postal code so this is the address structure right so we are going to create a structure to group uh, relevant fields so that we can reuse uh, the structure okay multiple times or in multiple programs wherever we are using this address data wherever we are using this address data you can reuse this structure okay the main advantage of structure is reusability clear we can group the fields and reuse it whenever required okay 
we can use this structure in the programs in function modules to define the importing and exporting parameters in class methods to define the importing and exporting parameters and also we can use uh, these structures to add uh, custom fields to the program sorry tables standard tables if you want to add additional fields some additional fields to the standard table what we will do first we will add those additional fields to the structure and we'll add these structures to the standard table also for example when when you are creating many custom tables so in multiple tables there are address fields right for example you are creating a employee master data and also you are creating a student master data and also you are creating a company master data so you are creating three types of tables what is common between all these master data for employee master data student master data company master data what is the common fields you'll be having what are the common fields you'll be having address address, address is the common for example for employee employee address you have to maintain in the table for student student address you have to maintain in the table for company code company address where is the company address is common right for all these three yes sir so if you are creating these three tables what you need to do every time you need to enter door number street city country postal code as a individual fields right in every table in all these three tables right sir you have to enter three times in each table you have to maintain these fields individually right you have to maintain this three these fields multiple times right for example i created a structure with all these fields i created a structure with all these fields i can simply add this g address structure to the employee table to the student table and to the company table so that all these fields will be added to the table automatically you don't need to individually maintain all these fields first create a structure with all these fields and uh, add that structure to the table so that all the fields in the structure will be automatically added to that uh, table okay clear so by using yes, structures we can add uh, fields to the table data dictionary table and also we can uh, use structures in the program replacement for uh, type structure instead of type structure where we are creating types begin of end of you can also yes, create a data dictionary structure and use it okay structure cannot store any data table can store the data clear and there is no primary key or anything any foreign keys in the structure okay So now let's see how to create a structure. can use structure in multiple ways okay in multiple objects we can uh, reuse the structure okay so that every time you don't need to collect all those fields and use 
right you can group all the relevant fields for example all the purchase order relevant data from ekko ekpo and makt tables you can group all these fields into one structure and you can reuse it whenever required right yes, so let's see how can we use how can we create a structure what is the navigation go to sc11 first we'll decide like what are the fields we need to create in a structure we'll go to the program so yesterday what we did here in this function module we selected all we the select fields right all the fields sir. we selected all the fields and also we defined a exporting parameter with reference to table type and in this table type what we have taken the complete table right yes, that sir. means this table type contains all the fields exactly same as table structure that's why we are using select star here but now my requirement is i want to select only limited fields not all the fields i don't want all the fields to be selected i want only limited fields from ekko table what i have okay, to do sir. here i should not use uh, the complete table okay, reference sir. i have to use structure only name. structure with limited fields what are the fields i need okay for that yes, first i'll select the fields what i have, what i want to display as output i want ebln so first create the structure go to data type uh, taking time so when you open the structure it is very similar to the table but you don't have any technical settings okay and you don't have any other options like uh, delivery and maintenance etc we we'll just group the relevant fields so where 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 we can use the structure we can use structure to add uh, additional fields to the data dictionary tables also we can add structures in uh, programs to define the internal tables and work areas can we write select statement on a structure no no we cannot write select statement on a structure it cannot contain any data <coughs> select data time give some name z and take z s yes, just to name that it is a structure okay z s yes underscore um, for example e k k o create what is the option you have to select here structure structure continue CSCQ underscore is not permitted at the second or third position. It is saying underscore is not permitted here at the second or third position. 
I'll take like this Z MM MM means MM module underscore S underscore EKKO. S means it's a structure. I am saying that it is a structure. Okay. Select the structure. Provide the structure name. So select the required fields, whatever the fields you want. Just add that fields here. EVLN or we'll do one thing we'll create a join in function module okay yes, sir. so that we'll take fields from different tables one field from EKKO and EVLP is from uh, EKPO table, right? Okay. I'll take company code, sorry, material number. So we'll take only these fields from now. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. I'll, I'll also add company code. are enough three fields from uh, EKKO and two fields from EKPO okay similarly you can take fields from any number of tables you can take fields from MAKT whatever the fields you need for example mm. MAKT X okay we'll join these three tables okay PO data structure. I am renaming it to PO data structure. Save. Activate. Activate. Won't maintain the enhancement category. So it is common for table also. Enhancement category is common for table also. Otherwise, you will just see one warning when you are when you are activating. Okay. So continue. So can we enhance this structure in future or not? Please define that. Cannot be enhanced. Can be enhanced. Can be enhanced with character like data. Can be enhanced with the both the character like or numeric data. So I'm selecting can be enhanced with the character like data or numeric data 
activate the structure now what is my requirement now now i want a function module to select data from the different tables and return the output right yes sir go and create a function module sc37 okay select po data create the function module i'll use same function group z demo group save continue now what is the input for the function module let's take company code as input okay as earlier okay. i am underscore purpose type is bookers only <coughs> so this is my input for this function module what is the output my output is selected fields combination of data for that how can i do that is a single record or multiple record multiple multiple record more than one record right that might yes, be more than one record is a single record we define we can define like this ex underscore your data type directly give the structure name structure. now it can it can return only single record it can handle only single record right yes, you give directly the structure name but if you need to return uh, more than one record if you want to define internal table like structure what you have to take what you need to do, what you need to use if you need to define a internal table like structure which can accept multiple records tables we have to use table type tables we can also use tables but table that is outdated sir. tables is outdated we have to create a table type for the structure right yes sir so how can you create a table type go to c11 go to Data type. Go to data type and create a table type. Instead of this, I'll take just like this T, just to identify that this is a table type. Create it. Select the table Select type option. Table. What is the line type? Line type is nothing but structure name. Whatever the structure you created, save it, activate it. <coughs> Now define your uh, uh, exporting uh, exporting parameter with the help of table type. I'll define one more. right yes. so the first one can handle only one record since i have taken the structure name structure name you take ek ek or ek po table name also it can handle only one record okay yes. to handle multiple records to make it as a internal table like structure what we need to do we need to use uh, table type okay yes. now go to source code Or if you want any exception, define the exceptions. 
just like this no data okay so i am taking only one exception for now now go to source code and uh, write the select statement select so what are all the fields i am selecting you can also use From alias EKK. name tilde operator ekk o e b l n ekk b o e p l p b l p ekk o e b l s company code whatever the fields you maintain in the structure okay aedat and matnar aedat matnar and maktx right maktx yes sir ekpega matnar and maktx and maktx Top table names. Can also use uh, alias names here. Hmm. What is the <coughs> statement? Tell me. From. From. Stop. E K K O. इंटरनल टेबल And later we can uh, copy that internal table data to exporting parameter. That's one option. If you are using fields in the same order, right? If you are using here in the select statement, if you are using fields in the same order like this, the same order, right? You can directly yes, take sir. this uh, exporting parameter. Instead of internal table, you don't need to separate yes, internal table. If you are using the same order. Okay. Yes, sir. Where? Buckets. At the rate of I am underscore. That is the input for us. If S Y hyphen Sabarsi is not equal to is. Sir, exception raised which I yeah, am. Sabarsi equal to zero. What we will do? We'll copy this internal table data through the exporting parameter. See, See writing select statement is not enough. You are not going it? to get the data. Yes, What is mandatory? You have to pass the data to this exporting parameter. That is mandatory to return the data. Otherwise, you cannot see any data. You are executing the select statement, but you cannot see any data. Otherwise, directly use this exporting parameter yes, here. Yes, sir. then you don't need this step you don't need to pass the data like this yes sir okay so okay, when sir. we are passing one internal table data to this exporting parameter what is the prerequisite both should be of same type same type okay same type and are in this the same order and this should be same type in the same the fields also should be in the same order this fields right yes sir these are also in the same order else else means is not successful how to raise exception 
rice and one that's and one that's the no data underscore available so it will make the sabarsi value as one yes. this exception is raised okay it's very important yes. interview question they will ask you how to raise a exception so using a raise statement you can uh, raise the exception right yes. now we are done with the function module we'll test it okay bookers is ambiguous so i got a error can you let me know what is the root cause of this error let's let's observe the first error the column name or association booker is ambiguous which means it it can it can occurs multiple tables said so, uh, in where condition we didn't specify the bookers yeah. from which table we have to select whenever you see this error ambiguous this word immediately check uh, the field names whether you are mentioning the alias name or not alias name or table name whatever okay now there is no error right we'll add one more yes, exception no input If you observe, I am going to introduce multiple options whenever we are creating an object that's not specific to that object. So what I am doing here, if uh, I am underscore bookers is not initial, then what is not, what is the meaning of not initial? Is not initial. Contains contains some value. Then execute the select statement. Else. else means is initial yes, it is empty is if it is empty what should we do raise exception Rise. exception that is no input okay for this exception yes, what will be the sabarsi value for no input sabarsi 2 no no hmm. One is for no data no data available. So check and activate. So most of the times people where they confuse is here. Sometimes they don't pass the data to the exporting parameter and uh, they don't know why. They are not able to see the output. Okay, it is mandatory that you have to pass the data to exporting parameter. Instead of internal table, you can directly take uh, this also exporting parameter also. But you should make sure that both are. same types whatever the fields you are selecting in the select statement should be in the same order in the exporting parameter okay that is important so here what are we doing we are populating the data set but i have, have defined two exporting parameters i have defined two exporting parameters one is one is with the structure reference the other one is with the table type reference what is the difference between both um in structure only one 
one yeah. record. Sir. The first one we it can handle only one record. Only one okay. record. More than one record. More than one record. It's like work area like structure. Just remember, yes, whenever you define the importing parameter or exporting parameter with that table name or a structure name, what what how it will behave? It will behave okay. like a work area like structure. So whenever you see a object with the table type reference, how it will behave? Internal table. Like an internal table like structure, it can handle multiple records. Clear? Yes, sir. sir, instead of that, uh, at the rate of data, uh, LT underscore PO data, we write. Uh, uh, ET underscore PO data, that's it? Yes, yes. Here you can directly use uh, ET underscore PO data. Uh, but there is no need of no need of creating an internal table. Yeah, escape. You don't need to use this escape parameters. Yes, sir. Escape parameter and... Uh, uh, commas also as... not required. This commas okay. also not required. If you are using normal select statement. Without okay, using sir. any inline declarations. Okay? Okay, sir. Now we'll we'll also pass one record to this uh, exporting parameter. Sorry, this single structure. Okay, how can we pass? Simply, what is the type of select statement we have to write for this exporting parameter? Select single. Yeah, we have to write select single. Or we'll do instead of writing a select statement, we'll just select. One internal table, one uh, will move one internal table record to the work area like structure using read yeah. statement. Read table, table. Uh, into, into ex underscore pivot data. Or you can also use work area. Okay, and later okay. move it. What I am doing? Index. What do you mean by index one? Particular row will select. The first index record, the first record of the internal table will be moved selected. to this. Okay. For yes. example, I'll try to pass the internal table to this exporting parameter. See what how it will work. Check the syntax. What it is they saying? The type of LT underscore PO data cannot be converted to the type of EX underscore PO data. Both are different types. This is a work area like structure. Check this syntax. So I am moving first record of the internal table to the work area using index. You can also move any record 10, 2, depends on your requirement. Or you can also write condition using with key. Right? Yes, Now, my function module is ready. Activate it. Test the function module. <clears throat> got 29 records okay yes in ex underscore why there is no data in ex underscore p1 
Actually, thirty rupees. Thirty entries are there. Sir, so one record is more to. So, so if one record is moved to, what will happen? It will become twenty-nine. Yes, sir. Is it? Yes, aren't we? See, moving nothing but it is not going to delete from internal table and uh, copying to work area. Please remember. It, it will just copy record by record into work here it won't delete anything from the internal table oh, clear yes sir there is no change in internal table records it will just copy records if you are using if you are using this statement that that doesn't mean that whatever the records in available in this internal table is not going to be moved to this in, this internal table it will just copy this data to this data this will still contain the data even after copying okay okay, okay so let's debug why it is not moving why we are not able to see data in uh, that exporting structure so this contains oh can you tell me what is the mistake why we are not able to see data in uh, exporting parameter ex underscore po data it's very simple if you can observe you can easily find out why data is not moved to this work area internal table data very simple very very simple why there is no data in ex underscore po data i am clicking on f5 sub rc is 4 that means no data move to ex underscore po data why observe here do we have any records here no, do we sir. have any records in this cet underscore po data no sir where are we populating records to et underscore po data after this read statement right here here we are populating the records now it will contain the record so that it will copy one record to the exporting parameter right yes sir so we have to place this read statement after uh, it copying of the copying don't think you guys are observing. So now we got data. So here we got single record. In uh, another exporting parameter, we got multiple records. So this is the work area like structure, and this is the internal table like structure. Clear? Yes. Now, what is the next step? Create a program. Call a function. So I'll use same. And maybe I'll create new one. Create.
type of the program is executable program save the program okay So your interview cannot be complete without asking question on the events. Okay. Data. Yeah, let's call the function module. Go to pattern. So, call the function module. Pass the importing parameter. That is, see, importing parameter doesn't mean that uh, we need to pass a parameter only we can also pass a variable okay for example data lv underscore focus Pass the para <coughs> pass the parameter value copy. Passing means copy, not completely yes. moving from. Uh, I can pass the variable name here. Okay. So I yes. it is not necessary to pass only parameters to the importing parameters. That's why I am just showing this. Okay. So we enable the importing parameters and exceptions. So what we have to pass for the CX underscore PO data? Work area. Work area like structure. What is the type? Yes, what is the type of that work area? Type. Go go to the function module. Go to the exporting parameter and check what is the type of this uh, exporting parameter. Take the same one. Take the okay, same sir. one and define your work area here. Yes. Yes. What is the next uh, parameter? <coughs> ET underscore PO data. What is ET underscore PO data? What is the type of this? So this is type of table type. How can you say this is a table type? How can you say this is a table type by just looking at it? You can also use a different name for table type. Okay. But when you double click on it, you can see what is the type of it. Otherwise, try to use a name, a proper naming convention. I'm using gm underscore t, right? So that I can, I can uh, come to know that, okay, this might be a table type. Since it is starting with Z, gm underscore t. It is GM, GM, uh, GMM underscore S. Okay, th this might be a structure. I can assume that. Okay. But by, to confirm yes, it, sir. double click and check what is the type of the object. Right? This, this is a table type, right? Yes, sir. So this is for internal table like structure. Then how to define? LT underscore. LT underscore. Your data type. If you are using table type, just type. like this, or if you are using structure, if you are using structure within the table type, whatever the line type you define, how to how to create an internal table type, 
Scan table are the same for manufacturer name. Don't use table type. Both are same. No difference. Okay. Clear. Clear. This is also internal. Data. Now pass the data. Yes. Sabar equal to zero. message no data oh sorry <clears throat> that is but too right no input i think it is two Sabar C2. Sabar C equal to one. No data selected. Clear. End of selection is optional. Okay. I'm not using any initialization or Excel screen, but you have to implement if required. Activate it. Now execute the program. H triple five. Execute. I got the data right. If you want, you can also return this, but we are not using this in the output. Yes, I'm not passing anything. What it is saying? Please provide Please the input. Provide so that that means, if I don't enter the input, if the input is blank, if the importing parameter is blank. What is the sub RC value? What is the exception it is rising? No input. The sub RC is 2. Sub okay. Yes, sir. Is everyone clear on this? Yes, sir. So going forward, whatever the programs you are writing, you have to implement a function module for that, for the business logic. Okay? Yes. Don't write direct select statements here in the start of selection, but instead of that, design a function module and uh, reuse it. Okay? Now, yes. if you have a similar requirement to select the same similar PO data, you don't need to write uh, Select statements again. Just call this function module in the different program. Okay. And pass the importing and exporting parameters. What is very important? In the calling program, you have to pass proper importing and exporting parameters with the same type. Same type. Right? How can you check the types? Just go and check go and check it in the function module. What is the type they are using in the importing and exporting parameters? Use the same type in your program. Okay? Yes. Sir. 
this is very 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 important this is what we do in projects most of the times here we are using function module it, it is same it is as it is very similar in uh, class methods there are some minor differences but it is very similar in class methods how we create the class method okay okay sir. 